Hello friends, it is my pleasure today to share with you one of my most favorite practices known as the Liu He Gong, which means the six unities, joints, intersections, unifications practice. So what is this practice about? In the first level, the most superficial levels, this practice is about teaching you how to have balance, how to move, how to articulate and move your joints safely, healthily, getting energy flow, the blood flow, the lymphatic flow to move through your body and extend your life, your health, and your vitality. <clears throat> on the larger, bigger picture, on the spiritual side of things, the energetic side of things, this practice has some numerological values to the number of six, which is the three and the three, about blending us with heaven, humanity, and earth, the past, the present, the future, above, below, in the center, finding our space within that cube of time and space. It also is very, very good at extenuating the channels, the six channels of each arm, the six channels of each leg, the acupuncture meridians and flows as they are, as also as a re relationships to the 12 organs and the six and six, and the yin and yang of them as well. These are all things we can go into in deeper practice. I do in my one-on-one -on -one sessions as well. But for today's lesson, we're gonna take it on more of the subtle natures of the first level of practice, simply the movement and the breathing. Because as they say, if you wanna have a long and healthy life, move and breathe daily. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna step back. This practice is a full body practice. It can be done seated or standing. Standing is a little bit more preferential, but either way, if you have inability to be able to stand, you can do it seated as well. I'm gonna do first, take some deep breaths in, and settle out. Breathe in. And as you exhale out, let your body, let your flesh, let your tissues kind of hang like clothes on a clothesline over your skeleton. Find the center point, the balance point in the center of your foot, the kidney one bubbling spring point. Breathe in, extending the head up towards the heavens. Do 20, the hundreds vessels meeting points and exhale out. And again, just let your body hang from your skeleton. We're gonna breathe in, bringing the pinkies underneath the thumbs and flicking them out. Gonna breathe in with the ring fingers now, ring fingers under the thumbs. Each one of the fingers relating to a different organ, a different one of the five phases, kidneys and pinky being to water, ring finger being to liver and wood, middle finger now to the heart and to fire. Right on blocking the channels, opening the mind, the body, and the breath for the practice. The index finger for lung and for metal. Finally, thumb under middle finger for spleen and earth. Sit in a neutral, balanced position. Weight evenly distributed between each feet. Settle your breath, settle your body. We want to imagine now like there's toffee, like this sick, sticky Play-Doh that's gonna come from our right shoulder to our left hip. And it's gonna to try to get those two to unify and extend out. We inhale as we come in. And exhale as we extend, trying to get the two to stretch as far away from each other as possible. The breath leads these movements as we breathe in, the shoulder and hip comes together. And out. Now try not to make it just a movement. Try to actually feel like there's energy pulling and then like, like polar opposites pushing apart. Like a magnet that pulls in and a magnet that repels. And breathe in. Time doesn't matter. The sensation is what matters. And once you feel like you get that 
Nice toffee-like pulling, attracting together, expanding outwards. We're gonna move to the elbow and the knee now. Let them pull together on the inhale, expanding out, repelling on the exhale. And of course, if you can't get them to completely touch, that's okay. We just wanna get them as close as possible. And the body will learn to adapt and change over time, easing, breaking up that stagnation, letting that flow increase, getting you more limber, better balance, and stronger in these positions. And if you feel that electricity pulling you in and pushing you back apart, we're gonna to move to the wrist and the ankle now. Let the wrist and ankle pull together like toffee. Almost like you're a jellyfish in the water. You flow down, you expand up. Flow down, expand up. Let your spine move as it feels natural. Divest the head hanging and raising. Oh, that much better. You will learn to more articulate and move every joint, every segment through the spine increasing the nerve flow to all our organs and our glands, through the blood vessels of the hands and the feet, the wrist and the ankles, the knees and the hips, the shoulders and the elbows. I'm gonna do two more. On the last one, I'm gonna resonate the sound hong at the extension. Home. Give it a little shake and shimmy, like water reflecting off, sunlight reflecting off the water. And pause, find stillness. Come back to neutral. Feel the difference. Feel how one side, one arm feels lighter, more energetic brighter, more alive and vibrant. One leg feels more energetic and more vibrant. Energy flowing and moving through it. You might feel a light tingling sensation. It's beautiful if you do. And if you don't, keep practicing. You'll get there eventually. You know, same thing, opposite side now, left shoulder to right hip. As we inhale, they come together. And as we exhale, repulsed apart. And together. And apart. Together and apart, together, and apart. Just had a nice joint pop and open up. Stagnation and stasis being the root of all pain in the body. Stagnation of blood or stagnation of chi. And as those, um, those blockages get opened up, health and vitality and pain-free existence begins to come back to us. Extending. Contracting, expanding, contracting. <sighs> One more. I'm gonna go to elbow and knee now. <sighs> Let that elbow and knee unite and come apart. <sighs> unite and come apart. <sighs> unite and come apart. <sighs> Feel that energy, that unity stretch across and pull back in, apart, ah, together, apart, ah, together, apart, ah, together, one more, and apart, ah, wrist and ankle now, ah, let that extension happen, let that expansion come, wrist and ankle, same time, the elbow and the knee in alignment, the hip and shoulder alignment, all six unities moving. Two more. Last one and home. Home. Shimmy, like the sunlight reflecting on the ocean waves, yin and yang commingling. Find a place of stillness. Hmm. Beautiful. So we did the opposites. 
Now we're gonna do through the midline, come apart from the outsides and into the center. We're first gonna do shoulders and hips together. So right shoulder, left shoulder, and right hip to left hip. It's a lot of visualization, this one folding yourself in half and opening up. Fold in half and open up. Squeezing the back and the glutes as you come forward. Squeezing the chest and the abs in as we come forward this way. And up and inhale and exhale. And inhale and exhale. Controlling in, finding in, expansive, finding yang, in, finding in, out, finding yang, condensing and astringing in, expanding and vibrant yang, two more, shoulders and hips coming together, and now we're going to move into elbows and knees as well. Those elbows and knees come close together as possible. The hands cross, that's okay. Open up wide. Knees touch, knees apart. Knees touch, knees apart again. Yin on the inhale. Ah, yang on the exhale. Ah. Ah, one more. Ah, and now we're gonna do ankles and wrists. Now it's a crossing place of the hands now is about the wrists. The ankles are rolling onto the edges of the feet, inside edge of the feet, outside edge of the feet, inside edge of the feet, outside edge of the feet. The wrists and hands are moving as far as they can in each direction. In. Yang. In. Yang. In, yeah. One more, and hold, hold, and shimmy. Ah. Find a place of stillness again. Feel the body. Find awareness of where you feel warmth. You may be sweating a little, but that's good. There may be cold sweats or warm sweats. Warm is that yang pushing out. Cold sweats, that yin, toxic she, moving out of the body, the body cleaning and purifying itself. You might find tingling as there's more chi, blood and oxygen moving to different areas of your body. You might feel a little looser than normal, which is good. I'm gonna go through the third section of this now, which will be folding through the midline from top to bottom. So now I'm gonna be folding the shoulders down towards the hips forward. Inhaling down, exhaling as we come up. Ah. Inhaling down, exhaling up, ah. getting the shoulders as high as possible. Inhaling down, exhaling up. Ah. Ah. And just let the arms and legs hang wherever they are right now. Make the focus that toffee pulling in, toffee expanding up. Toffee pulls in, toffee pulls up. It's like caramel, it pulls you in. Sticky, sticky honey, stretch it out like bubble gum. Two magnets pulling in, two magnets flipped in or pulsing back. Let's go to elbows and knees now. Elbows and knees, elbows up high, elbows and knees. And exhale up high. Elbows and knees. And up high. Elbows and knees. Let that visualization of the two coming together, all your focus and your intention. Intention leads the chi. Chi leads the blood. The three come together to form our reality and how we feel. The state of our body, our mind, and our breath. Beautiful. Last one, I'm gonna go wrists and ankles now, down. If you can't go all the way, go as far as you can. I'm gonna come back and play with this again tomorrow and see if you go a little bit further. Like toffee, stretch and retract 
and stretch and retract and stretch ah, and retract ah, like a jellyfish ah, two more ah, last one big hole Bring the hands together to a unified position, sometimes called the prayer position, but the unification of yang on one side, yin on the other side, coming together the two energies, the two polarities. <clears throat> Breathe in, take notice of how your body feels. And like every practice, we want to take a moment now to close off our, boundary, our borders, to nurture and warm the changes inside of ourselves. Going to rub the hands together. I'm gonna rub them over the nose, over the eyes, over the ears. Switch the saliva around the inside of your mouth, click your teeth together. Engaging the five orifices, the five senses. I'm gonna tap down the inside of the arm, up the outside down the inside, up the outside, down the face, up the back, down the back of the body, down the back of the legs, the butt, the outside of the legs, up the front and inside, up the belly, up the chest, up the face again, take a deep breath in. Ah! Again. Ah! One more time. Ah. Thank yourself for the effort you've put in, the changes you've made. Thank the universe for playing with you and allowing you to have this time. And thank you for joining me in this, the traditional practice of the six unities or the Lu He Gong. It's a wonderful, beautiful practice. I'd say just trying to do it every day. You can do it in the morning, you can do it in the evening. It can be done very active and dynamically in the morning to wake up and invigorate your body. Or it can be done in the evening in a slower, more yin nature sense, where you do it a little slower, a little more passively to settle down and quiet the body. So enjoy the practice. If you have any questions, I know we threw in some other things, some hongs some finger flicks, all parts of practicing, not necessarily parts of the Lu Ho Gong, but to make it a complete and effective set, we need to make sure we put the entire practice together for you to get the benefit that you deserve. So thank you, my friends. Ryder J. Champouillon, the modern day monk. Be well and live life fully.